to talk about pickups. The differences in pickups, why you use different kinds of guitars for different songs. I have my favorite, but I definitely have my applications of where I use all of them for different reasons. So let's get into it. What I'm holding right here is a standard Stratocaster. Now Strats typically have single coils in them. Sometimes you'll see a Strat with single coils and a humbucker, but this Strat specifically has three single coils. Single coils are called single coils because they basically have a magnet wound with wire. And that magnet round with wire is incredibly sensitive to electromagnetic interferences. And that's what picks up the frequencies of what's around it, AKA the strings. And so a single coil means you just have one, we'll get into humbuckers and everything later, but because of that single coil, you get a really clear, bright, crisp, tone. I love them because they're very responsive. You can almost hear every little part of your playing. Every little thing that you try to add with your fingers, you can really hear that stuff with single coils, which is why I love them because they're so responsive to how you play your guitar. Let's hear these things. <laughs> to the next kind of pickup. We are going to talk about humbuckers. Humbuckers are different because there are two coils instead of one. Now because of that extra coil, you're generally going to have a louder, stronger signal with a little bit more sustain. That's because of the two bobbin design. You're definitely going to hear that it's going to sound fatter and warmer. There's a little less response to those higher frequencies that you hear in a single coil. Because of that, it's gonna be smoother, it's gonna be bigger. Also, the cool thing about humbuckers is because there are two coils wired in opposite polarity, they cancel each other out and they remove a lot of that electric hum that you can hear from weird power venues sometimes, or single coils can generally be really noisy. Humbuckers, the beautiful thing about them is they're pretty quiet, which is great. It makes them very versatile regardless of where you're playing. These pickups are a little bit more expensive than the other forms of P90s, which we'll get to in a minute, and even some single coils. But, you know, when you listen to Slash, Angus Young, Kirk Hammett, these are the pickups that these guys use because they're loud and proud and big. <laughs> Number three, P90s are somewhat of a tonal bridge between your single coil and your humbuckers. In the late 1940s, Gibson replaced their standard pickups to P90s. They were actually the first pickups to be in the first Les Pauls in 1952, whenever that was. The cool thing about P90s is that they're a little bit both, a little bit humbucker, a little bit single coil with the vintage low output. So you're going to get more of that mid-range growl with some of the twangy highs that you don't necessarily get in a humbucker. You know, they kind of came into their own in the punk movement. If you want a little bit more sound and body, from single coils, and if you're missing that high-end bite from your humbucker, then you probably want some P90s. Again, they have their place. I wouldn't use P90s all the time in every song, but they're really great in hollow bodies. They just have a way of cutting through when humbuckers can't. Let's hear them. <laughs> So these are P90s. 
P90s. P90s are fun. They're so much fun to play. They definitely have more of a bite. The one main drawback is they're pretty loud. You hear a lot of buzzing. You hear a similar buzzing to single coils, but P90s specifically are pretty loud, especially depending on the power you're plugged into at venues. But that's just so worth it for the bite that they give. Okay, as one more added bonus, sometimes you can find a guitar that has a couple of different pickups in it. And actually, once you get a guitar, you can do whatever you want. You can buy one of each. You can change up your pickups all the time. And there are a lot of different kinds of single coils. There are noiseless single coils. Pickups go on and on and on. But for the sake of this lesson, we're just covering the three. Single coils, humbuckers, and P90s. Now, my favorite thing is when a Strat actually has one of each. So you can have a single coil and a humbucker in one guitar, which is very helpful sometimes when you want the clean, crisp, bright, very definitive aspects of a single coil in certain parts of your song. And then you want the fat, large, increased sustain of a humbucker for maybe some solos. Other great thing about humbuckers is they really take gain well. So sometimes for some of my verses, I really like having the definition of a single coil. And then for a lead, I love to switch to a humbucker. And this has it all in one guitar so that they're both right at my fingertips. I'll show you what I mean. So here, we're using our single coil. You'll hear it's it's a lot more crisp, bright, and clean. It's very responsive to what I play. And now here on the humbucker, you'll hear it's fatter, it's larger, there's more sustain. It's not as crisp, but it, it just has more oomph to it. So this is probably a better lead tone. And this is probably better for verses. For a lot of like big, clean chords. I'll demonstrate playing the chords using my single coils and then hopping into a lead using my humbuckers on one guitar. So there's just a little bit of an example where you can play with single coils and humbuckers in the same song and both of them are extremely useful. All right guys, so that is pickups in a nutshell. We covered single coils, humbuckers, and P90s today. If you have any questions, leave them below. Make sure to subscribe and follow Marty Music as well as check out my channel. All the info is below this video. We'll see you next time guys. Bye.